Why am I wearing sunglasses in the house? Because I'm hot. Yo guys, welcome to another video. It's taken me a little while to release the next one because I didn't actually know what it was I wanted to talk about. But then we had a conversation on Facebook and somebody challenged my perspective and said, do I not remember that I am a pastor's child? And am I not too old to be rebelling? And it got me to thinking, am I rebelling against God? The simple answer is no. I believe that my image of God differs from what the church's image of God is. I'm rebelling against the church. We're told that we're created in the image and likeness of God, which is cool because I also believe that that's true. However, there's a fallacy in that we've attributed human characteristics to what is supposed to be a divine being. There are two examples that I'm going <laughs> There are two examples that I'm going to use to explain my point. The first is the 400 years of silence. Now, I know what you're going to say some of you are going to have some sort of theological, theological explanation for that period. However, for the sake of what I'm trying to say, just hear me out. The last thing we heard in the Old Testament was the prophecy, I think it was Malachi, who prophesied about the coming of Jesus. After that, there's silence for 400 years. And then Jesus shows up, or just before Jesus shows up, they start talking again. You mean to tell me that this divine being got fed up of the human race and sulked for 400 years? For 400 years, they were like, do you know what, fam? I'm not talking to them because I've been telling them for years and like, they're not listening. They're not listening. So, cool. They can do what they want. They can do whatever it is they want. Really? This divine being <laughs> sulked like a child for 400 years. You know when you need to, to coax a child out of a mood, like if they're being naughty, I know. Oh, you, you sent you sent Daniel, they threw him in the lion's den, I know. Mm -hmm. Cause like, I've had enough, but you've got to be the bigger person. <laughs> Are you serious, bro? Oh my, you know, fucking hell. So after that 400 years of silence, he sends through Jesus. The condition is, only the people that acknowledge this person, who is preaching the same principles as this prophet, as Muhammad, as Buddha. What's his name, Buddha? What is his name, bruv? You know what I mean? Krishna, whoever. There are several people throughout history who have preached the Ten Commandments. Because as far as I'm concerned, that's what everybody's basic moral compass, moral code should be. Don't lie. Don't steal, only your mother and father. Don't sleep with your neighbor's wife. I don't remember the rest because as far as I'm concerned, this is it's basic. God's now decided that if you're not following this guy, it doesn't matter if you give to the poor, if you are loyal and trustworthy and forgiving and patient and all of those attributes that, that make for a good person. If you worship Krishna, off the hell you go. What kind of love is that? No, no, that no. I can't comprehend a divine being, a uh, energy of love that is gonna treat people. No, no, it just doesn't make any sense to me. There's no way that these behaviors are divine. They're, they're human characteristics that we've used to justify God's actions or the creator's actions the, the, to understand the matrix that we live in. Like we've attributed our own characteristics to that being. I don't believe a divine being to be such a sulky, whiny baby. That's ridiculous. And then you add to it the concept that the things that we do that are against the, the teachings of the Bible are going to automatically send us to hell. The theory is flawed to me. 
it doesn't make sense that God would treat his children that way. I love and I care for you, however, if you don't do as you're told, I'm gonna sulk for 400 years. I'm not talking to you. In 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 conclusion, in conclusion, yeah, I'm rebelling against the church, man. It, it, the system makes no sense. The idea that you can feel like you have authority to preach at somebody because of superficial actions that you've seen. Because bear in mind, you don't know the depth of a person. Unless you're spending every week in, week in? Waking, breathing minute of the day with that person. And they're telling you all of their internal thoughts. You don't know that human being. To see them do something, or to see them wear something, or to see them react in a particular way, and decide that they need saving, that you need to tell them of the good grace of God. Like, yo, that's judgmental, bruv. You have a snapshot of that person. You can't sit here and talk about judge so you be not judged and all of this stuff, but the very notion, the very idea that you have the authority to preach, it's your duty to, no fam, no. Somewhere along the line, you look at it wrong, bruv. You live by example. When people see you living in love and 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 in patience and in grace and and like that's when people are like, raw, what are you on? Because your energy, fam, I wanna be on that way. That's when you start talking about what you believe in or whatever. You can't be be force feeding people your Bible scriptures. I don't subscribe to this one version of of God, like this is the only way to reach heaven, whatever that is. The people out in 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 little village villages in the middle of the jungle, bro. Like, who, who's going out there? Well, anytime people go out there to preach to them, they give them some sort of fucking virus, bro. Whatever the belief system is, as far as I'm concerned, that makes that person live a life of love as opposed to fear. I have no argument with you, man. None. If you're loving, if you're you're caring, I don't know, man. I, like, I feel like we all should be striving to be the kind of person that we want to meet. That's it. Be the kind of person that you want to meet, bruv. It's not that hard. If you don't want people to lie to you, stop fucking lying, bruv. I just can't deal with the judgment, mate. I just can't deal with the judgment. I didn't even mean to go down this route. Like, I feel like slightly passionate about this and I just kind of sit down to bust two to joke because like I said I'm high in it got to do better the approach I don't want to go into the approach I'm not even trying to tell you like how to preach your thing I, I don't think you should be preaching that's the bottom line <laughs> shut the fuck up sorry daddy the level of condemnation that is placed upon people the superficial things is dumb to me yet in this church we so easily justify ourselves interesting anyway i don't really know where to end this so i'm just gonna stop <laughs> as usual guys hit the like button subscribe drop me a comment let's have a chat i'll catch you next time peace